Imagine a place so cold, so remote, and so isolated that it feels like the last outpost on Earth, or the first one on another planet. This is not science fiction. This is Vostok Station, Russia's most extreme research base, buried deep in the heart of East Antarctica. With temperatures reaching a staggering minus 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, the coldest ever recorded on Earth, Vostok is more than just cold. It's apocalyptic. Winds slice through the air at over 60 miles per hour. The sun disappears for months. And yet, a small crew of scientists and engineers lives here year-round, pushing the boundaries of human endurance and scientific discovery. But why here? Why would anyone build a station in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth? Because beneath this icy wasteland lies one of the most mysterious bodies of water on the planet, Lake Vostok. A subglacial lake sealed off from the world for over 15 million years, buried under more than two miles of ice, untouched, unseen, and possibly home to ancient life forms that could reshape our understanding of biology. To even attempt to reach it, Russian engineers developed a custom-built thermal drill system that melts through the ice with surgical precision, avoiding any contamination of the ecosystem below. It took decades, but they finally broke through in 2012, making contact with a world no one had touched in millions of years. Let that sink in. They drilled two miles through solid ice in temperatures that freeze steel to reach a hidden lake beneath Antarctica. That alone is one of the most ambitious engineering feats in modern history. By the way, if stories like this blow your mind, now's the time to hit that like button and subscribe. This channel brings you the world's wildest builds, most extreme stations, and the engineering legends who make the impossible happen. Life at Vostok Station is brutal. The buildings are mounted on steel stilts to keep them above drifting snow. Every nut, bolt, and beam had to be engineered to withstand temperatures that make electronics glitch and engines fail. Even the diesel fuel has to be chemically treated to avoid freezing into sludge. Supplies? They're delivered in massive overland convoys called traverses which journey across hundreds of miles of ice in what is easily one of the most dangerous supply chains on Earth. These missions can take up to 40 days, battling blizzards, zero visibility conditions, and ice that can crack open without warning. And despite all of this, Vostok remains operational, a frozen time capsule of Cold War architecture and Soviet engineering still standing proud more than six decades after it was first built in 1957. Inside, life is minimal. Bunk beds, steel walls, and rationed food. There's no internet. Communication is limited to low bandwidth satellite signals, often delayed or down entirely during storms. The isolation is so intense that crew members often go through psychological screening before deployment. Once you're in, there's no easy way out. But for those who stay, the reward is priceless. Data collected here helps scientists model climate change, understand Earth's atmospheric history, and even simulate the kinds of environments we might find on moons like Europa or Enceladus. In many ways, Vostok Station is a training ground for space. If we can survive here, we might just be ready to survive out there. If you're obsessed with megastructures, engineering against the odds, and the wildest places humans have dared to build, subscribe now. Drop a comment telling us what extreme location or structure you want us to cover next. Until then, stay inspired and stay curious.